Hey everyone, here we go. What well, final mission? Fence of Denerim. So we gotta head to Reckliff Village first. I don't remember doing this when I beat the game for you know what? It's been a really long time since I beat the game. I usually get like halfway through, finish the deep roads, then I just kinda fall off after the dead room stuff starts. Canari? What on earth are Canari doing here? What are they working for? A mage? Oh. How about not, lady? You need to stop. Thank you. You know what? You're getting lightninged. Stop. Don't kill him. He is no common bandit. None of them were. Their weapons and armor are of fine make. And they are well trained. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who are you? <laughs> Someone who regrets taking you on. I was told it would be an easy job. Kill the little red haired girl. Deal with the others as we pleased. Kill the. You came to kill me? <laughs> I don't pay to ask why someone wants someone else dead. I just need to know what to do and where to get my money. Ha! <laughs> money. I'll be lucky to get away with my life, it seems. <laughs> Maybe we could work something out. You like the idea? Speak quickly. I've no real quarrel with you. Wasn't me that wanted you dead. But I know how you can find the one who does. I have some directions written down on how to get to the house. It's in Denrim. Yeah, it's the best I can do. Thank you. Now leave. I never want to see you again. Don't worry. I'll not trouble you no more. It's Marjolaine. It has to be. Maybe someone saw me. Maybe she's finally found me and wants to finish what she started. Perhaps it's time to settle this score for good. I remember her from the DLC we did. Oh. <laughs> Liliana? Oh, so lovely to see you again, my dear. Spare me the pleasantries. I know you're... Oh, you must excuse the shabby accommodations. I try to be a good host, but you see what I have to work with. This country smells like wet dog everywhere. I cannot get this smell out. Even now it is in my hair, my clothes. Ugh. Of course, you don't notice it. You wallow in the muck with your bees so much, you are used to their scent. I am not here to discuss Feraldin's odor, Marjolaine. You framed me, had me caught and tortured. I thought that in Feraldin I would be free of you. But it seems I am not. What happened to make you hate me so? Why do you want me dead so badly? Dead? Nonsense. I know you, my Liliana. I know what you are capable of. Four or five men you can dispatch easily. They were sent to give you cause to come to me. And see? Here you are. Ignore what she says. She's lying. I know how she works. What are you up to, Marjolaine? Why are you in Ferelden? In truth, you have knowledge that you can use against me. For my own safety, I cannot let you be. It is you think I did not know where you were? Did you think I would not watch, my Liliana? What is she up to, I thought? The quiet life, the peasant clothes, hair ragged and messy like a boy. Uh, this is not her. You were planning something, I told myself. So I watched. 
But no letters were sent, no messages, you barely spoke to anyone. Clever, Liliana, very clever. You almost had me fooled. But then, you left the Chantry so suddenly. What conclusion should I draw? You tell me. You think I left because of you? You think I still have some plan for... for revenge? You are insane. Paranoid. Oh, is that what you think? If I were you, I would believe nothing she says. Not a one. She will use you. You look at her and you see a simple girl, a friend, trusting and warm. It is an act. I am not you, Marjolaine. I left because I didn't want to become you. Oh, but you are me. You cannot escape it. No one will understand you the way I do, because we are one and the same. Do you know why you were a master manipulator, Liliana? It is because you enjoyed the game. You reveled in the power it gave you. You cannot change or deny this. You will not threaten me or my friends again, Marjolaine. I want you out of my life forever. Leave Ferelden. Go back to Orle and never return. What you do is no longer my concern. I see. I will go, for now. But you carry a dangerous secret of mine, Liliana. It is not over. Not for us. She's gone. I don't know what to think. Something I can help with? Something I can help with? Okay, let's go back to camp and see what she says. Oh, hello. Is there something you wanted to talk about? It's... it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm just thinking. I can't get what happened out of my head. I'd been in Lothering for years, and she still thought I was plotting against her. She didn't trust me. Maybe she never did. She loved me when she could use me and control me. And now that she can't, she wants me dead. It... It hurts to realize that I never really knew her. I knew she was ruthless, but I didn't know how far she could go. She is self-serving, cruel. She uses people, then discards them. But that's how she survives in the life she leads. What? Well, what if she's right? What if we're the same? I... I should just have stayed in the Chantry. I could have been wrong about the Maker. I... I know you doubt me sometimes. Maybe you're right. Maybe. Maybe I just tell myself he's there to console myself, to know there's someone watching out for me, to know I'm not alone. But I was. I was alone and desperate when I fled to Ferelden. I went to the only place I knew would take me. I forgot my life as a bard while I was in the cloister. I felt safe. I didn't have to watch my back all the time. That's what made Marjolaine the person she is, don't you see? It ruined her. It will ruin me too. Even now, I feel some regret at not ending her life in order to protect my own. Isn't there? It's the first step down this dark path. First thought, then action. What we're doing, what we've done. Hunted men down, killed them. Part of me loves it. It invigorates me, and this scares me. I... I feel myself slipping. How can you be so sure? Do you really think so? Hearing you say that gives me comfort. I would like to be alone for now. I have many things to consider. Thank you for listening to me. Alright, cool. Let's get down to it then. That's it. It's like dead cows there. It's you, the Grey Warden. I'm trust it's mercy that you got here when you did. I thought for sure these monsters were going to get me. They all fled to the castle this morning, before the Dark Swan arrived. Uh oh. I thought I could make it to my home and back before they got here, but it took me too long to get down here. What a relief you arrived. I'm going to get out of here before any more of those things arrive. Thank you again. Oh damn, that's not good. Redcliffe's under attack. Yeah. Oh. 
The blight has officially started, right? Yeah, I see a big guy there. Damn, Redcliffe is just not doing well. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait. Can I like nuke them from here? Nice. At least they die really quick. The battle is finished. Next. Well, let's save these people again if there's any left. Yeah, I would say this place is wiped out. Because there's a big ogre in the middle of the town. Okay, let's line them up. Oh man, I got like a lot of them there. Ow. Hey, is there a spell caster? There is. Hey! You bastard. I'm trying to cast a spell here. Grabs me. Ooh, that was not nice. Well, Man, that was a lot of dark spawn. Damn, you could say that again. On it. Oh boy, I have a bad feeling. Okay, the Chantry's closed. Where do we gotta go? Oh, we have to get up to the- oh yeah, we gotta get up to the, um... Castle, right? So, that's the village. The castle's over there. I wonder if I just cleared all that for nothing. Okay, so we came down here. How that? Oh. Oh man, they're rip. Okay, so the castle's up there. We came in through here. So we came that way. Oh man, they're under attack. Really under attack. Oh, that's enough out of you. Is that all you've got? <laughs> I killed them all in one hit. Sorry guys. Oh, I think he's gonna die. We got more. Oh, they must have followed us up. Yeah. <laughs> 
They got rushed. I think we have to wipe out all the dark spawn first. And he got grabbed, so let's help him out. My lady, you're here. Thank goodness. I don't rightly know. Riordan of the Grey Wardens arrived this morning, just ahead of the Darkspawn. I was told he has urgent news and to send out patrols to watch for your arrival. Then we were attacked. There might be stragglers, but you seem to have taken care of most of them out here. That's rather remarkable, really. Let's get started. Okay, so... All right. I was told to watch for your arrival, Warden. Your comrade Riordan arrived. I should take you to the hall right away, my lady. They'll be waiting for you there. It's a relief to see you unharmed. And you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. The darkspawn that attacked Threadcliffe were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. What? Are we sure about that? I mean, if that's true... I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. Oh, that's not good. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her preserve us. But we can't reach Denerim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. Redcliffe is fortified enough that a skeleton force can hold the wall should Darkspawn come. Then you will remain here, Tegan, while we march on Denerim. The Horde must be defeated, but the Archdemon is our true target. And only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army we've collected here gives us the chance we need. Al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. I will give the orders at once, and will notify you the moment we are ready to march. That would be appreciated. Then if you and Alistair could meet me before you retire, we have Grey Warden business to discuss. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. Grey Warden business, eh? Oh, hey, it's everybody. Dwarves, elf, it's Athrun. And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Claret sent their men or haven't they? Eh, stalling, which is as good as a no. House Claret's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally, they're pleading the need for self-defense. Huh, <laughs> fine time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... Good <sighs> evening to you, Grey Warden. Mm -hmm. Realize you were still up and about? Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the dark spawn all on their own, I suppose? That's exactly the kind of half arse thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to go to Orzammar when you did, Grey Warden. For all that a surfacer needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way to go yet. 
Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. You too, buddy. I stand here staring out to the east, and I can feel it. I suspect that you can too. As if it weren't enough that one of the most noble and terrible creatures ever to be spawned of our world should be twisted into something so unnatural. I cannot imagine what we shall do once we encounter it. Do you have a plan? No, truly I don't. And more's the pity. If you will excuse me, I need to meditate to gather my strength. If I am to be of any use to you come the morning. Good evening, Grey Warden. And good luck. You know what would have been really cool if... I know they were probably rushed making this game, but... Having a special Grey Warden skill line would have been cool. You know, that only Alistair and the, and the Warden have. Kind of like damage the Darkspawn increased, you know, a special blade ability. That would have been kind of cool, I think. Oh, it's this stuff. It's like the mod. Um, but it's like the highest rank, I believe. Yeah. Uh, defense, one magic. Yeah, mine's better. It's like way more magic. It's like combat armor mostly, you know. Uh, not combat armor, but... Okay, so elf... Dwarves, right, Cliff, we're just missing. Who are we missing? Hey, it's Bodon. Ah, fancy meeting you here. I heard rumors that Red Cliff was once again open for business, but my word, isn't this amazing? Such bustle. The Oral has kindly offered my son and I lodgings in exchange for supplies. I'm happy to help him. And you too, of yes, course. Yes, this is the last time. You have much to ask. The last time you have to buy from him, I think. I'm sure you'll Cause after you go to bed tonight, it's straight onto dead room. With your so we'll do, um, the martial end stuff at, after the game's over and just, uh, I'll sneak that in through editing. So Tom of physical, I don't need that. I'm kind of excited about awakening cause I haven't played it yet. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, we're pretty good here. It's Gift of the Grey. Oh, it's Darkspawn Dagger. I can give that to Liliata. Oh, that's pretty much it. Upstairs, I guess. Or, oh, up here. Let's get started. Kind of brings back memories of doing uh, the Ashes quest being here. Feels like so long ago, but it wasn't. It was literally like last week. Let's go see what we Warden. You're both here. Good. You're new to the Grey Wardens, and you may not have been told how an Archdemon is slain. I need to know if that is so. You mean there's more to it than just, say, chopping off its head? So it is true. Duncan had not yet told you. I had simply assumed. Tell me, have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? Something to do... Yeah, with the taint. That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn. But should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. A Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning... Oh... The Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon dies. Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only one. Damn. Oh, it's been a while, I forgot. It warms my heart to see such courage, but do not hurry so to sacrifice your life. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The blight must be stopped now, 
or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march then. I guess this ends soon, one way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. Okay, so we can't let Alistair do it. He's the king, we can't. Gonna have to be me. Now it's gotta be. Do not be alarmed. It is only I. I am well. Tis you who are in danger. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed. And that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. I know a great many things. How I know is not quite as important as what I am offering you. She was listening in, probably. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. It is old magic from a time before the Circle of Magi was created. Some would call it blood magic, but I think that means little to one like you. From Flemeth, of course. I have known about it for some time. I did. Would you have believed me if I had been the one to tell you? I have my doubts. Perhaps, but that price need not be so unbearable. Especially if there is much to be gained. All I ask is that you listen to what I have to offer. Nothing more. What I propose is this. Convince Alistair to lay with me here tonight. What? From this ritual, a child shall be conceived within me. He'll be royal blood. The child will bear the taint. And when the archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage... The child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. Not at all. It will become something different. A child born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away. And you do not follow. Ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. You will advise him to do so, and because he trusts you more than he would ever trust me, he will comply. Consider the alternative. If Riordan fails, do you think Alistair will hesitate? The future king of Ferelden? He will die the hero, and you will be overshadowed. Just a Grey Warden who accompanied the king. I think you have many good reasons to tell him to save his own life. I think you should consider them carefully. Hmm. You know, I think it's canon that she lays with Alistair because she has a child in Inquisition. While you go and speak with Alistair, I urge you to be convincing. I always get her to. I think I told her to piss off once. And all she does is she just leaves the party forever and just, yeah, she just leaves. And that's pretty much it. I see you can't sleep either. I also saw Morrigan outside your room earlier. And the look she gave me. Ooh, that was icy even for her. Is something up? Apparently he's ready to roll. Oh. I guess whatever Morrigan had to say, it's big. This is what I get for becoming king. Everyone always brings you the bad news. So what is it then? Rats running amok? Cheese supplies run low? I can take it. That's not the best way to start a conversation, but all right. We've been through enough together. I'll at least hear you out. You mean with the Archdemon, right? Yep. If you mean running away, I can't do that, but you don't mean that. 
do you? What is this about? <laughs> Cute. This is payback, right? For all the jokes? But you're not joking. You're actually serious? Wow. Be killed by the Archdemon or sleep with Morrigan. How does someone make that kind of choice? You're not actually asking me this, are you? What kind of ritual is this, anyway? Uh, come on, Alistair. It's the only time you get to be with a goth girl. Well, that's reassuring. Wait, no it isn't. Look, even if I was willing to do this, and I'm not saying I am, are you suggesting we trust Morrigan? I don't know. No, I can't. I... I can't do it. You... you can't ask me to do this. Not like this. Oh, great. Of all the times to regret being a man. Look, just because I have the proper... Yeah, just because I can... Look, that doesn't make this a good idea. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. We Riordan could end it. Or both of us could die before we even get close. I... <sighs> All right. If it will save your life or Riordan's, then... I'll do it. Make her help me, but I'll do it. Oh, where is she? Let's go and get this over with before I change my mind. Would seem your talk is done. Great. This isn't a dream after all. What is it to be then? Has a decision been reached? How could he not want to do that? <laughs> you know, like... Oh, you know, dinner would have been nice. Maybe a bit of wine. Or you could knock me out first. Tempting. Still, I am glad to see that it has been done. Oh, sir. It's Claudia Black. Come on. <laughs> this quite so much as you believe that was so funny alistair was stuck <laughs> like he's ready to just start throwing hands <laughs> i guess like we finished combat and he didn't actually uh go in idle mode we have gathered all the forces we can Darkspawn Horde is sure to reach the capital before us. And so we must race to Denerim as quickly as we can. The lives of many thousands hang in the balance. We must not forsake them. You have gathered an army to replace the one lost at Ostagar, Grey Warden. Let us pray that it will be enough. Well, Alistair, you're just ruining the vibe here. He's like in combat mode. Before us stands the might of the Darkspawn Horde. Gaze upon them now, but fear them not. This woman beside me is a native of Ferelden, risen to the ranks of the Grey Wardens. She is proof that glory is within reach of us all. She has survived despite the odds, and without her, none of us would be here. Today, we save Denerim. Today, we avenge the death of my brother, King Caelan. But most of all, today, we show the Grey Wardens that we remember and honor their sacrifice. For Ferelden! For the Grey Wardens! I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> laughing. Just because of his stupid stance he has. 
Oh man, mods, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Oh my, uh, we came too late. for a mace. So much for the city. Oh, we leveled up. That's right. Oh, sorry, Win. Oh, these must be like lesser ones, right? Or did the dirty. It's probably his first time. We just gotta wipe them out. Let's make this quick, shall we? Never ending forces. Well, I think uh, that's it. Someone's vibrating. It's Morrigan. Oh, I don't have a party. We're all separate. Okay. There's Riordan. I like him. He's like the Stroud of this game. Okay, we're not going this way. Oh, and I leveled up. Look at that. Um, I'm kind of thinking... Yep. Mostly everything that I need. You know, it's just like... Okay, what do you got? Uh, blood control. Nope. And I love how I got blood magic and I barely ever use it. I'm going to get revival. No, actually, I don't need that. I wish there was like talent points where you could make these abilities better. That'd be kind of cool. You know what? I'm going to get glyph of paralysis just so I can stun people that get too close. Like Wynn has it, but she doesn't always use it at the best of times. Oh, grin. It's my favorite dwarf. Hey, uh, city gate. Oh, wait. So, oh, I gotta talk to Riordan.
You've managed to fight your way to the gates. We're doing better than I hoped. That will change quickly. Bloody Nug Runners are outnumbered three to one! What are we to do now, Riordan? You have a plan, I assume? The army will not last long, so we need to move quickly to reach the Archdemon. I suggest taking Alistair and no more than two others with you into the city. Anyone you don't bring with you can remain here to prevent more Darkspawn from entering Denerim on our tails. We're going to need to reach a high point in the city. I'm thinking the top of Fort Draken might work. The top of... you want to draw the dragon's attention? We have little choice, though I warn you that as soon as we engage the beast, it will call all its generals to help it. I can sense two generals in Denerim. You may wish to seek them out before going to Fort Draken. I am sure that if we did slay those generals, it would stop the Darkspawn in the city from doing a lot of harm. It may also waste resources trying to find them. The decision is up to you. There are already several units of our allies within the city by now. They may be able to come to your assistance if you call them, but their strength will be limited. Now, who do you wish to take with you into the city? Okay, so, um... I know we're gonna take Morrigan. I think. But I might take Wynn. I've saved it already, so there should be nothing wrong. But I think she said, like, she doesn't actually have to be in the city. It just, Alistair has to be there when it dies. But I might leave Wynn behind. Well, actually, you know. Okay, yes. this is what we'll go with for now. We'll see how it goes. Fair enough. Anyone else will need to remain here and assist in keeping more Darkspawn from coming in the gates behind us. Who will lead them? Awkward. Fine. Let's just move into the blasted main event already. Good. That should be sufficient. Nothing you have done has prepared you for what you face now. May the Maker watch over you. Well, this is it, Warden. When from the blood of battle the stone is fed, let the heroes prevail and the blighters lie dead. <laughs> As one of the blighters, I sodding salute you. Let's show them our hearts, and then show them theirs. Are you ready? We have reached the battlefield at last. The Arishok asked what is the blight? I stand here looking into its eyes, and still I have no answer for him. But perhaps you do. You have carried us this far. Do not doubt that. So this is it? This is the end? We've come so far. It's strange knowing that all our fates will be decided in a matter of hours. We stand on the precipice before the greatest battle of our age. I wonder if the heroes of old ever felt like this. I am not afraid. We go to fight for a good cause, and there is nowhere else I would rather be. This day, we will forge a legend of our own. After all that, I will not be going with you? <laughs> I would still see this to the end, but so be it. Let us part ways now. You go your way, to your destiny, and I go my way. I did not know what it meant to have a friend once, but you I would gladly consider such. Go, slay your archdemon. Live gloriously, my friend. Before we head after the archdemon, I want to say something. I know Morrigan's... what she did is supposed to save us, but who knows if she can be trusted? or if we'll even survive long enough to take that final blow. So I just want you to know that it's been an honor fighting by your side. To the honor of the Grey Wardens. Wait. The has done to the city. <laughs> I was like... Can you change your party? 
Okay, this is it. We're gonna roll with it. Uh, yeah. Kill those godless bastards! We're counting on you, Warden. Make a watch over you. All right, when um, let's give you want more willpower. And then Alistair, give me strength, and some decks. And I guess we'll give you motivate. Or whatever that does. Okay, the alienage market. So we gotta head to the palace. City gates market. I guess we got to fight our way all the way through to Fort Draken. Hello, big boy. Point looting anymore is there? Because you know, we're coming up on the end. Okay, so we can call our allies. But um, you want to save the mages for the for the arch demon? I remember that. Very pivotal that you keep them for that. I remember actually use them on like this stuff. Bugger? <laughs> she tried to grab me. They're so grabby. There's Jenna TV's house, I think. Oh, wow. They just, like, destroyed this place. Yeah, that's Arl Eamon's uh, estate. Thanks. Uh, elves. Probably want to leave elves for ranged enemies. Dwarves. Mages. Yeah, we got to save the mages. Oh wow, they have a lot of anim uh, troops. Because I gave a lot of elf fruit to them, I think. And four golems, which would be really good. Not here, but I would say the next area. Yeah, there's the general. I probably didn't even need win. But she's healing him for a lot. Wow, that guy hit hard. Axe of Aloth. Oh, looks like they destroyed the Chantry. Take care of that emissary. I don't want to use troops if I don't have to. We'll play it by ear though. Okay, this is initially where you come in right away. Okay. So let's go to the alien itch. Help them out. Gotta save the alien itch because this is my favorite origin. Rishiani. You it's you. The Maker sure gave you the gift of good timing, didn't he? There's a large group of Darkspawn approaching and the gates won't hold. We need your help. Sure. Uh, all right. I only hope there is time to... They're breaking through! Run, all of you! Run for your lives!
Where are they? Over here? Yeah, get out of here, you guys. You're not actual warriors. Oh, that's a big boy. That screen shake. Oh, it's a general. You know what? I don't want you out of the picture for now. Oh, wait, what? Paralysis explosion? What was that? That was cool. There you go. Burn. Wait, what am I doing? I'm so used to looting. But the general should have some good loot. Oh my god, that is so powerful. Just par mass par paralysis? I must loot this. Hey, what's this? Malgen stuff? Oh. Five spell power? Oh, that's good. I'll use that. can have mine if I could oh there we go I can see now uh, let's start with uh, fireball right there paralyze some people shocks going on I guess uh, yeah you know what help me out there's my boys come on watch it just be the end of this level and then I just did that for nothing Yep. <laughs> Jesus. I should have just called them, like, at the beginning. Uh-oh. Is he pissed that I killed, like, two generals? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're cut off from our forces. So let's go to palace. Call them and the, just all the enemies are already dead. Man, I should have called them right when I saw the gates breaking. When I play with my rogue, I'll do that for sure. Oh, right. The other people. Uh, I don't know. Let's give you vitality. Reaver. Stan has like no points in anything. I don't even know what class he is. The champion? He doesn't have a class. I thought he was a reaver. I never used Sten, so pretty obvious. Everything. Beware! A large group of darkspawn have broken away from the battle. They're charging this way. They'll be here any minute. 
Oh, we still got my dwarves. Uh, help me out, guys. Join the fray. Mighty blow, sunder armor. Or of pain. Ow. Hit him. I don't think so, but. self-healing I like to uh, reaver in position a lot early um, slayer is going to be the new reaver type all right I gotta heal Keep using. I'm not used to using Argon. Okay, let's just put that there. That there. And that there. Okay, let's put your active abilities. Whoa! What the hell was that? I just like got killed instantly. That would be kind of cool if they spent more time with Bear Farm for. Shall I send word that the gates are secured? Right away. There we are. Okay. I feel like Morgan really shined in that little battle. actually made it. Watch out, Reardon. Oh, that'll wound it for sure. Yeah, of course, all the way up to the top, probably. sucks uh, it's up to us now I guess man Warden's toast well okay it's down to us too oh, let's let that turn off uh, I need some elven help Hey, you guys showed up right away. Right, nuke these guys. They were losing some dwarves. Red Clef's doing good. Let's 
Do paralysis right there. Oh, you bastard. He stunned me. Oh, that was not nice. Right as I was doing blood wound. Okay, now I can turn it off. Oh my god, this moment with so many spell effects. Help! <laughs> my FPS. Oh no. I'm just tanking my frames. Oh, I guess I can use fireball now. Actually glad I grabbed elves here. It's that some sort of death magic thing. That might even be the rally. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Okay, this way. All the way up there. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Liliana. Yeah, get up there and do that. Soldiers. That laugh? Oh, my God. Tornado. Elves are still doing well. Or Draken. Okay, what do we got? Archer, 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 Archer. Behind barracks. So I think we can do it. Let's do that. Oh, it's a dragon. Let's just wound these guys. That's pretty much all I use it for is that one ability. Oh, let's take care of this guy that's kind of going ape shit on the spells. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got some mages here that are causing some trouble. Yeah, they sure are.
Yeah, there's like three mages here. Pretty much killed, uh, what's his face? Oh, Wind's Toast. Shoot, I don't have Revival. Well, you know what? I'll have to do. How about knots? That spell effects like a fire tornado. That was a lot of dark spawn mages. Holy poor game is just having an absolute meltdown. I remember being here. Remember we were here like a couple episodes ago. Friggin' Cawthorn threw us in here. Now it came right back. Oh wow, a lot of dead bodies. Oh god, what's this? Demons. trouble I mean I don't know why there's a friggin mage over there it's tormenting us you stop that right now Oh man, poor win. Hey, what have you got for injuries? Hey, you got one. What now? Oh, uh, he doesn't like does not sound like he likes me. At all. So the only problem with having custom classes and custom abilities is the tactics thing doesn't really recognize them. You have to manually like program it in. We just don't have time for that. So we'll just deal with it. Right. Trap right ahead. Oh man, they just got kind of lined right up for that. I don't think so, buddy. Oh my god, what's going on now? Uh, chain lightning on you. Oh, this is like the armory room. Do we gotta go down there? Oh, 
top hats. <laughs> it's sandal. Enchantment. Where's his dad? I love how Sandal's always surrounded by bodies, like he never gets hurt. Like that one time we find him in Dragon Age 2 and he's in the deep roads. Get to the very top. Well, this is a very nice area. Probably where the warden lives. Lived. This should be easy enough. Let's get Like for mage, it's pretty much like spirit heal and arcane warrior are the best. A lot of weird specs for mage in this game, though. I find that a lot of the best specs are for probably from two and th three. Although the veil guard specs look really cool. Not really a spell blade for me, but evoker seems like something I want to do. As you wish. Kind of like Force Mage in DA2, just a very simple plain mage. You know, no uh, weird abilities or weird classes. Need to go in here. That's blocked off. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so many of them. This is where a mage shines. Alright, so it's a big circle. Oh, we gotta go straight down that way. So down this way and then... Over here? Oh, we missed this. Okay. Master Assassin, hey? Uh oh. Out of the picture. <laughs> Such a nice ability. I love it. He did it to me. Okay, let's do Inferno. And then Chain Lightning. Oh man, I can't even see them. I think they're dead.
Red Glyph Knights, no, no chance. to um summon the mages just yet you want to when he actually flies away well, let's keep an eye on that oh he's still on the ground kept okay. It. Oh no. He's at a spot where we can't really get to him. That'll do it. Oh man, Alistair's dying. It still got him. Inferno time. Rip. How did Al 
cluster get it? Oh no, well, yeah, I did. That was awesome. was over. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They were Duncan. a threat in the years to come. But the blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Rest in peace, Peter Renaday. Elden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king. Grey Warden stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. But at what? My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn siege of Dederim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. The one who led the final charge against What is that spell effect? Remains with us still. An inspiration to all she saved that day. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the hero of Ferelden. The first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Garahel four centuries ago. My friend, it is hard to imagine how you could have aided Ferelden more. I think it only appropriate that I return with you. Is there any boon that you might request of Ferelden's king? If it is within my power, I will grant it. Uh, can you stop this spell effect? That's like... Sacrifices of the Wardens should not be forgotten again. Circle of Maja and given independence? No, we don't want that. Now that's a very good point. I think we can begin with a monument here in Denerim, dedicated to the Grey Wardens who have fallen. Duncan, Riordan, all of them. And it is high time some scholars were collected to learn more about the Darkspawn. We'll face them again, with the dwarves as well as here. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Hau, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went before them. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? Uh, of course. That they do. I'm glad one of us is staying with them at least. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you're ready. A dark promise, that's why I'm still alive. Is because of that. If you don't do that, 
you pretty much die. And why am I glowing? There we go. Yeah, <laughs> I just had to quick save and quick load. I think it's just some mod maybe that has effects persist because normally the game takes all of your, your enchantments off when you start a conversation. So let's go talk to our people. This uh, just some randos. Oh, there's Arl Eamon. It is over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the civil war and then defeated the blight. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say thank you. It truly cannot be said enough. <laughs> so I'm learning. It's too bad that you aren't remaining here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden would have influence, but I understand. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems well enough, and Isold refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. But here I am, rambling on. I shall let you get back to your celebration, Warden. Enjoy it while you can. You know, I really love um, how Bioware does endings for games. They kind of let you do like a wrap up and just kind of say goodbye to everyone that you've spent the whole game talking to, making friends with, you know? It is very strange to hear so many speak of a mage in such glowing terms. Deserved, of course, but still not what I am accustomed to. Allow me to offer you my congratulations and my thanks. The tower is now nearly restored to order. It could have been so much worse. It pleases me to see such a young pupil achieve prominence. I look forward to watching what you accomplish next. Now, I should leave you to your celebration. <laughs> Aldred's revolt has left me very quick to tire these days. Retirement will come soon, I think. So here we are. The conquering heroine has won the day, and now she takes her bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. And my part was small. I'm happy to watch you receive the accolades. It's quite fun. You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly is. I've been asked by the Chantry to return to the Urn of Sacred Ashes. I need to make sure it's protected. Maybe pilgrims can even begin going there again. Oh no, you have your own things to keep you busy, I'm sure. It will be a grand adventure of my very own. I'm looking forward to it. At any rate, you should get back to the celebration. We can speak another time. I think she's going to like group up with Cassandra to um, start up the whole a Avon village and, you know, outpost for the Inquisition in Dragon Age 3. Yeah, that's, well, that's what I think she's doing, but. The hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? I don't like hero titles in games. I don't like feeling like a hero, but I like doing heroic things. Of that, I have no doubt. It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come, just as Loghain wore his. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? Until you do something wrong. And then they will enjoy tearing you down just as rapidly. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter, but I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to accept a position here at court. There's not been a mage advising the throne for a very long time. I understand you will be leaving. I wish you good fortune on your journeys, wherever they may take So I think the warden goes to Weishaupt. Live well, Warden. And thank you. So I wonder if you're going to see the Warden in, um, Bailguard. You know, be able to customize her and all that. I know you can customize the, uh, Inquisitor. 
That's cool. I'm really excited. All right, who do we got left? Ogren and Sten. I don't care about Sten that much. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. The ale up here is actually good. Orzammar ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. Go figure. After what we went through, <laughs> I think I've earned it. I think you've earned it. So I guess you're heading off soon, huh? Leaving the city? Witch hunt. I'm thinking I'll stick around myself. <laughs> At least for a bit. Well, that pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. <laughs> I aim to prove him wrong. <laughs> is that his voice? Is that Pride Bloom? That's what I've been wondering lately, like hearing him talk. Maybe. Swing around in a few months or so. And if I'm sober by then, I'll let you know. <laughs> it's been good traveling with you, Warden. If the Warden didn't join the other Wardens, I would like to think that she would go to the Deep Roads and just keep finding Darkspawn until the end. I mean, that's what I would do. They call you Hero. I have not heard it used before, but I think I understand the intent. The Arishak, on occasion, has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vel would be too proud. Not for the Kunoran Vel, for the Kunari people, it is a cause for much celebration. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. Makes sense. Yes, but it will be welcome to be amongst familiar things again. You showed great skill in defeating the Archdemon. I am pleased to have played a small role in that victory. Perhaps we shall meet again. Should it be in battle, I will not seek you out. Anahidon Warden. Alright, who do we got left? I guess that's it. Are you ready, my lady? The crowds outside are getting restless. Right. I'll take you there now. Follow me. In the months that followed the coronation, Alistair proved to be a popular king. Unwilling to involve himself, he traveled often. Yeah, I kind of thought maybe that's... They referred to him as a king with the common touch. Lived the common life. Now that the Cern of a Sacred Ashes had been found in Feraldin, did not spread outside in the Chantry until Brother Genitivi made the announcement. The manuscript detailing his research and his experience with Andraste's cult drew huge interest. Okay. Several years later, the Chantry announced that the resting place of Andraste's ashes had been found. A ripple of excitement spread among the pious people of Thetis with many undertaking pilgrimages to see the ashes. I thought that would happen. While the months of effort, the Tower of Circle Magi was finally cleansed of its... the last spirits to slip through the veil. No further abom abominations were created. Ab abom abominable <laughs> abominations. The first in Shanna Irving was pleased to declare the circle safe and all that could have been. The slaver shut down in the alienage. <laughs> Little textures. The lot of the city born elves improved for a time. The new king even named the local elder to his personal court. Oh, good job, Alistair. A scandal amongst the humans, but a sign for the hope to the elves. Oh yeah, the humans probably just had a meltdown. Chiani continued to be an outspoken member. And in time became the new elder. Yeah, I would see that happening totally. This outspokenness earned her frequent trouble, but served her people well. I really like Shiani. She's like one of my favorite characters. Especially if you do the elf origin. 
Arl Eamon remained in Denerim for some time, acting as the Chancellor and Chief Advisor to the new King. Egan ruled over Redcliffe and instead, yeah, I do know that because of Inquisition. And was surprised to find himself well loved by the villagers. Eamon abdicated in favor of his brother. Oh, yeah. Well, he probably wanted to um, sit by Alistair's side in Denerim. Connor was sent off to the circle. He excelled in his training and easily passed the harrowing. Oh, that's good. At his father's urging, Connor accepted a position in Tevinter. Really? The tavern in Redcliffe Village is now run by Bella? Yeah, that's right, because I, I had Buddy join the battle and he died. Renamed the Grey Warden's Rest and echoes with tales of how the hero Feralden and the village and the healed Arl Eamon with the ashes. You believe that such tales could possibly be true. Yep. The Elish Elves prospered after the Siege of Denerim. Having very much respect for the battle. They did a lot. I, they helped me out a lot. I, you know, I never even used the golems for, for the dwarves. For once, human lands welcomed the folk. Yep. Zathrian remained keeper. For many years more until he finally realized that the world was changing too quickly. Uh, he argued with the human court. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. Increasing tensions and simply vanished. What? Just disappeared? Okay, well, guess we should have uh, gone a different route on that quest. As for the werewolves, even with the Witherfang slain, the curse was not broken. Oh, that's what I thought. Werewolf populations swelled again, and they returned to the savage nature. Oh, that's sad. Sylvian Forest ultimately s sealed off to adventures, travelers. Although not even stop the spread of the curse. Yeah, that's too bad. All right, here we go. This is the important one. In Ors King Balin quickly proved himself a reformer. Trade with the surface lands increased and caste restrictions were loosened. Oh, look at that. The castles were permitted to take arms against the Darkspawn in exchange for no freedoms. So you serve your time and you can get some restrictions lifted, right? So for the first time in generations, the line in the deep roads was pushed back. And incentivizes people to, uh, you know, venture forth. Balin's reforms quickly found him enemies within the warrior noble Castia, yeah, of course. And after several assassination attempts, the assembly was dissolved. The king then ruled alone. Some said he was a tyrant, others said a visionary. <laughs> he pulled it out again. Or a, a, a Palpatine. The Dwarven Mage Dagna ultimately completed her studies at the rebuilt Circle of Tower. Eventually, she published a comprehensive theory on how lyrium vapors relate to the supply of magic. Cool. Uh, so that inspired mages from other parts of Thetis to establish a new circle of magi in Orzammar. Really? One that... R one that had ready access to Dwarven lyrium. Lies outside the Chantry's power completely. Oh, they won't like that. The willingness of Orzammar to harbor apostates sparked outrage. Wow. Oh yeah, they're probably mad. Contemplating an exalted march. Why? Just for that? It was not long before Bronca mastered Keratin's technique, learning how to use the Anvil of the Void to create new golems. The first in many centuries, and the Dwarven people greeted this news with cheers, though few knew the cost. And they never will. At first, King Balin worked eagerly with Bronca to provide subjects, willing or not. The arrangement was not to last, however. Uh oh. Before long, Bronca began to refuse to create golems only for the king, who soon banned use of the anvil. Yeah. His men attacked Bronca's fortress in the deep roads, forcing her to shut it tight. 
Years into the siege, Balin was forced to relent. The fortress, guarded by Bronca's golems, remained impenetrable. Yeah. It's too bad. As good as her word, Morgan disappeared once the Archdemon was slain. Someone of Morgan's description was seen traveling alone months later, heading west through the Frostback Mountains. And she may have even been with child. Yep, we did the ritual and all that. There was no word of her after that. With Flemeth dead, or at least gone, the chances of tracking her down were slim. One cannot help but wonder, however, what became of the child. What were Morgan's plans? These questions must remain a mystery. For now, or until Dragon Ace 3. <laughs> Companions who travel with Solana, which is my character's name, eventually scatter to the four winds. Yep. I guess they would, right? Drawn either by personal duty or a call for adventure, Grey Wardens welcome the hero back into the fold, even if the suspicions of those who wander wondered how Solana managed to survive were even sometimes given qu quiet voice. Yeah, so Alistair would, wouldn't be able to continue because he has to rule a kingdom. As the Blighted Lands began to heal and the Grey Wardens slowly rebuilt the Order in Amaranthan, they discovered that the fight against the Darkspawn was not yet complete. Yeah, they just wouldn't go away. Like, they're still around. All the Horde had been routed and had dissolved on the Archdemon's death. Many more powerful Darkspawn survived to organize roving warbands that preyed on both the land and each other. These war brands spread, ha spread havoc, and some even journeyed west into Orlais or across the Waking Sea by the Deep Roads. But yet, these are tales yet to be told. The tale ended when Solana sank her blade into the Archdemon's head and destroyed it forever. It was not the last that Ferelden would have of her, however. Well, that's it for the main story, guys. That is the end of the tale. So I have to do a great awakening still. And then we're going to do the Golems of Angarok and then Witch Hunt after that. And then that will be it for Dragon Age Origins. And then I'm going to try and get uh, Dragon Age 2 done in time. And then I'll probably release, you know, like I like to repeat, I love Dragon Age. I love Bioware. I'm really hoping for a big win this fall. Very excited. It was really nice to revisit this game again. It brought back a lot of great memories and um, a lot of good feelings. So I'm uh, awakening. I actually haven't played more than half an hour, so it's going to be kind of interesting, I think. And uh, I'm ready for it. 